But the stock on our radar right now is Sonata Software. All the mid-cap IT stocks have been buzzing around. Remember, the stock has a market cap of rupees 3,300 crore rupees. Also, it's up about 111% in the last one year under a bit of pressure today. But if you take a one-year chart and you see that the stock has doubled. To discuss the company's business outlook and more, we have Mr. Prasanna Oak, the CFO of the company, joining us on the show. Thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Oak, for joining in. In fact, I'll take this opportunity to also discuss the fourth quarter numbers with you, which we, uh, we, which we did not uh, uh, this time around. So, you know, the total revenue growth that came in was uh, muted quarter on quarter on account of weakness in your domestic business. And also your international business was absolutely flat. So going forward, what sort of revenue growth are you guiding for in FY19, both on the international and domestic front? Yeah, uh, so uh, Mangalam, the way that we look at our business is actually splitting it, uh, you know, into the two segments. One is the international business and one is the domestic business. Uh, the domestic business we measure on our margins mm -hmm. only, not on the top line because a lot of deals, you know, have, uh, you know, the, have, have larger margins or smaller margins. So margin is the way to look at it. We grew about 6% year on year. On the international business, uh, we didn't speak in Q4, but for the year we grew by about 18.5% in dollar terms and about 13% in the rupee terms. So both our businesses are growing exactly the way that we had wanted it to. Uh, we believe that there is traction and uh, we continue to offer our differentiated strategy you know, of uh, using our IP of uh, digital transformation through our platformation. We have got five to six IPs. So uh, that has yielded success in the last two, three years that uh, we've been talking about. And we believe that it will continue in the same direction. Uh, obviously, we've got to execute mm. it. We've got to watch it. Uh, but we are not changing the strategy. That that will be our key strategy and the pivot around which we are working. Mm. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this year as a whole, Mr. Oak. Uh, I mean, Q4, I believe that the domestic sure. business uh, was a bit sluggish. Uh, but overall, for this year, uh, in terms of constant currency growth, uh, what are you likely to do, and what contribution will come from digital in that top line number? Uh, good question. I mean, uh, yes, uh, as you rightly said, you've got to look at constant currency. Uh, you know, there is uh, fluctuations, cross-currency uh, wins, uh, the rupee depreciating, uh, the, the, the pound uh, and the dollar moving. Uh, uh, see, while we don't give a forecast, uh, we believe that uh, we will be in the same range as, as last year. Uh, we, we are aiming for that. That's our aspiration. Uh, we've got four verticals. We are having traction across all these verticals with clients, uh, and uh, you know we are hoping to do the same uh, for this year. Uh, so yeah, definitely trying to uh, do better than what the industry is doing uh, overall. Right. Uh, Mr. Oak, uh, just hang in there for a second. We need to address the markets right now as we speak. The Nifty slipped to the low point of the day. In fact, it's uh, uh, slipped a good 30, 40 points from today's high point. 744, 10,744 is where the market is right now as far as the Nifty is concerned. Reliance is slipping from the high point of the day and LNT is adding further pressure out there. Watch out for the mid-cap index as well. Now three stocks in the red for one in the green as against two when we started the show. And we're seeing sharp declines in the likes of NBCC, J. Associates as well as CB, CG Power. Adani Group stocks continue to take a beating. Uh, Adani Enterprises down about 7%. So we will keep an eye out on the markets and uh, uh, we will watch out for any individual stock movement. Uh, in the meanwhile, let's continue our conversation with Mr. Oak. Thanks a lot, sir, for waiting. Bye. Um, a, a, a word on the margins because you said the domestic business did show an improvement in the operational performance and now with the increased contribution coming in from digital and international business also maintaining its growth rate do you think 11% that you did in the last year is likely to go to about 12%, 13%? What is the range that you're working with? The weakness in the rupee also helping you? Uh, yeah, I mean, all, all good question. Let me get back to the previous one. I mean, our component of digital is nearly a third of our revenues. Hmm. Uh, you know, that's a question which we had asked. And uh, the way we are also measuring our revenues is uh, what is the component which is coming from the IPs that Sonata has? We tried to track that across the last year. Uh, so we are currently at about 15% of our revenues come because of our own IPs and the services around them. So that's one part of the question. 
the second is again if you look at the margins as we are talking these two business lines are totally different uh, we got about 5% debita on the domestic business but our international business our debita stands at about close to 25% uh, we believe that a lot of our costs are baked in and as we continue to grow the revenues we should uh, have enough room for investments and to keep the margins uh, where they are. I mean we'll have to obviously play it over the year. Uh, with reference to your last uh, point on the uh, rupee, uh, see most companies take forward covers. So uh, we believe that the benefit from the rupee depreciation uh, will only come to us in the second half of the year. Sure. Mr. Uh, Oak, I, I'm, I'm just trying just to, Mr. Oak, I'm just going to try and slip in a question. Five seconds only on the chat, unfortunately. You mentioned the contribution from IP is right now 15% of your total pie. Uh, to what extent do you see that scale up in the current year, maybe the next one year, two years? Because that's where the real game is going to lie, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's IT-led revenues. We have our IT, which is our differentiator, and we have services around it. Uh, we grew by about 20-25% in the last year, from about 12% to 15%. Uh, we hope to be able to uh, continue that kind of a growth. I mean, that's at least our target, or, or to do better than that. So that's, that's where we expect IT-led growth, uh, you know, to really help us along with our platformation and all our five, six table of IPs and platforms that we have. All right, Mr. Rook. Thanks a lot for joining in. Wish you good luck for this fiscal and the fiscal is going forward. With that, we'll step into a short break. Come back. We talk about Lux Industries. Uh